In the vast expanse of human psychology, an intriguing phenomenon stands out. Our tendency to extend an unparalleled level of generosity towards ourselves, a level of leniency we seldom afford others. This inclination is not merely a trivial facet of human behavior, but a profound illustration of our inherent bias. When it comes to self-assessment or reflection on our thoughts and actions, we often adopt an indulgent and forgiving stance. Even when our minds wander into territories of thoughts that are unkind, unjust, or even cruel, we have a remarkable ability to dismiss these as fleeting whims or harmless fantasies. Consider, for instance, the moments when our thoughts take a dark turn, envisioning scenarios of revenge, harboring ill will, or entertaining prejudices. In these instances, there is a tendency to rationalize or diminish the severity of such thoughts. We reassure ourselves that these are not reflections of our true selves, but mere abstractions, momentary lapses that do not define us. This self-justification is a comforting narrative, one that allows us to maintain a positive self-image in the face of morally ambiguous internal dialogues. This leniency towards ourselves becomes starkly apparent when contrasted with how we judge others. Should another person momentarily entertain a similar thought, our reaction is often disproportionately critical. We are quick to label it as a revelation of their true character, a window into their soul that exposes deep-seated malevolence or moral bankruptcy. This discrepancy in judgment reveals a fundamental asymmetry in human empathy and understanding. While we navigate our own moral landscapes with grace and forgiveness, we apply a much stricter standard to others, often leaping to conclusions based on a fraction of evidence. This behavior is not without its consequences. It fosters a dual standard that undermines interpersonal relationships and societal cohesion. By holding others to an impossible standard while excusing our own transgressions, we alienate ourselves from the very essence of community and empathy. This dissonance can lead to conflict, misunderstanding, and a breakdown in communication as individuals struggle to reconcile their self-perception with the judgments of others. Furthermore, this self-indulgence in moral leniency poses significant barriers to personal growth and self-improvement. By refusing to critically engage with our darker thoughts or acknowledge their potential implications, we deny ourselves the opportunity for introspection and evolution. Growth requires confrontation with uncomfortable truths about ourselves, an endeavor that demands honesty and courage. Without this, we stagnate, trapped in a self-constructed narrative that isolates us from the rich, complex reality of the human condition. In reflecting upon this tendency, it becomes clear that the path to greater understanding and empathy lies in recognizing our own fallibility. By extending the same generosity and forgiveness we reserve for ourselves to others, we bridge the gap that divides us. This does not mean ignoring wrongdoing or absolving harmful actions without accountability, but rather acknowledging the shared human experience of imperfection. It means understanding that thoughts, while powerful, are not definitive markers of character unless acted upon. Embracing this perspective can transform how we interact with the world around us. It fosters a culture of empathy, understanding, and genuine connection qualities desperately needed in an increasingly fragmented society. By acknowledging our shared humanity, we pave the way for a more compassionate, understanding world, one where we recognize the complexity of the human psyche and extend the hand of forgiveness not only to ourselves but to each other.